Hi everyone, my name is Emily Miller and I am a Grand Valley State University alumna from 2014. I am currently an elementary art teacher up in Rockford Public Schools and have been there for six years. In collaboration with our Making Ways initiative at GVSU, I wanted to create an artwork connecting this initiative with art history. So today we will be making an artwork inspired by the Great Wave off Kanagawa by Hokusai. This is his artwork, just so you have an idea of kind of what we're going to be making, but in our own little way. For today's project, you are going to need a regular white paper, washable markers, a Sharpie, a pencil, and if you have access to it, a paintbrush and some water. If you don't have access to some of these things, you can use whatever materials that you have. I'm going to be starting with a pencil and I'm going to be starting in the left just kind of drawing my version of a wave. So it's going to come up and make a curve and then come back down. But then at the top of the white cap I'm just going to add a little bit of details for the foam for the white cap. So I'm going to start at the bottom left here and I'm just going to curve it up and then I'm going to add some of the details on top just to act as part of the white cap. And then I'm going to come back on the side. I'm going to do a little bit more detail on this. And then I'm going to come down. Now I'm going to have another wave coming up here in front overlapping, so I don't want to have this coming all the way down yet. I want to try to draw my wave similar to the top one just a little bit lower down. And if it's not perfect, I'm going to go up for a Sharpie and I can always erase any little lines. I am going to add some more details up in here, just a little bit more lines, maybe some lines that kind of look like drips, but it's just to be more details in our wave. I can do the same down here. You can add as many details as you want or as little as you want. When I think I'm good, I'm going to now use my Sharpie and trace over all of those lines that I just drew. This is just going to be giving it a hard defined edge because Hokusai was a Japanese painter but he was also a printer and when you print you usually have dark lines as your edges. Okay, so now I'm going to be using my washable markers to add some color and details into the artwork. This is not super detailed, it's just going in and drawing some lines from top to bottom following the curve of the wave. So it's almost like I'm just making some stripes in the artwork. I'm also going to do the same for down here. Not as much of a curve, but I still want to have those stripes in there. Now I'm going to go in with a black and a green just to give it a little bit more depth on my waves. 
I'm going to take my black marker first and just do a little bit of a line on one side. So just give it some depth and a little bit of a shadow. I'm going to do the same thing with green just to give it a little bit of another color but I'm not going to do it as big but I do want it right on that blue. I am now going to take my blue and do a little bit of details just on those tips that I drew. This will add a little bit of a color. And then the almost last step is I'm going to now use warm colors, red, orange, and yellow in my sky. So I'm just going to be using the same technique of just creating some lines. Just lots of line repetition for my background right now. They can be wherever you want them to be, just all over. I'm going to be using all the warm colors. So I can just start with one color and go back and add the other ones as I see fit. I want to make sure that everything in my background is going to be covered. so that there's combining of colors as well. Now for the last step is I'm going to use a paintbrush just with water. I'm not using paint. I'm just using a regular paintbrush and water and I'm going to then blend the colors. Because these markers are washable and water-based, the color blends and smears when you add the water to it. So occasionally I just go back and get a bit more water and I want to make sure that every part that's not my white cap is going to be colored in and those colors are going to blend and they will continue to blend even when I'm done because as the water dries it will spread a little bit more and the color will spread a little bit more. Same thing in my bottom wave. I can go straight across or up and down, it does not matter. Now I'm going to rinse my brush in my water and I kind of want to wipe it off on a paper towel because now I'm going to do my sky and I just want to make sure there's none of those blues or blacks going into my sky. Same process, I'm just dipping my brush in the water and then I'm just blending those colors that we used in our background on our sky. 